Hi there, I'm Matt and welcome to My Annoyances, but the closest thing I've ever had to a long-term relationship is that one time I won a year supply of hand lotion. In today's episode, we'll discuss bullies, hopefully. I mean, you're probably gonna leave here without learning a fucking thing, but who cares, right? So last weekend I was taking the train. And I love taking the train because there's two things every person really needs. Cheap transportation and having the opportunity to see a hobo piss on the floor. So while I was waiting for my train and another train stopped in the same station, these kids looked at me and apparently the thought crossed their minds, why this kid is fat, we can't miss an opportunity to be a total douchebag to him. Now I don't feel like I'm being racist by telling you that these kids are a bunch of dirty Mexicans. Mainly because they're a bunch of dirty fucking Mexicans. I mean, I could smell them from where I was standing, and they smelled like manual labor and disappointment. Plus, they had that nasty white stuff in their hair that you get when you leave the gel in for too long. So either they hadn't showered lately, or they were just stuck without an umbrella in a semen hurricane. So they all stand up, run to the window, and just fucking stare at me. And then as the doors are closing and the train's getting ready to leave, one of them yells, Bye, fat ass, and they all start laughing as the train departs the station. Well, first of all, I don't know why that's funny. You calling me a fat ass is a lot like me calling you a legal resident of this country. I can say it all I want, but it's still not true. And secondly, what you said wasn't even original. I mean, fat ass. Really? People have been trying to insult me since I was like six years old and never even bothered me. Mainly because my dick is like a fucking Pringles can. Trust me, when you look down and realize that you can lasso a fucking cow using only your genitals, you feel a lot better. Even though people have been trying to insult me for so long, I never get in fights. Yeah, I'm very peaceful, I'm much like Jesus that way. Only cooler. So I'm pretty sure Jesus never punches someone in the face and then calls him an aching dick stand for no apparent reason. Yeah, take that, grandma. If you're religious, please don't get offended. I know Jesus personally. He's a really cool guy. I used to be roommates with him. However, he was kind of annoying with the whole water into wine thing. He walks into the apartment. He has a girl with her. He's trying to impress her. I understand that. But he's like, you see that water? Boom. Fucking wine. And I'm just looking at him like, Jesus, you killed our fucking goldfish. What were we talking about? I can't remember. Um... I think I was saying something about syphilis? Yeah, right. Syphilis. Note to self, even if you put on a cape in a superhero costume, syphilis is not a superpower. Yeah, it turns out you can't save a burning bus full of children with the amazing ability to have lesions on your genitals. We need to focus, alright? So let's just get this bitch a movin' and or a groovin'. See, this bitch is a metaphor for videos. And a movin'... Just shut up, okay? Moving on. Now, all the people are always gonna tell you, well, just say, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words won't ever hurt me. And that's bullshit. Have you ever been called a pathetic loser that deserves to die? It fucking hurts, even if your teacher only said it because he was mad about the spelling bee. God, I miss first grade. I've used it one time in my entire life, and when I told him six and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, he started throwing fucking rocks at me. Okay, no one told me that shit was gonna happen. So, if it helps you, I came up with a good alternative. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but if you so much as fucking touch me, I swear to God, I'll sue your ass so fast that your stupid horror mother won't be able to afford the fucking birth control she needs to avoid making another piece of shit failed abortion like you. Now, what really makes me mad is when people try and make the bully seem like the victim because they went through some kind of traumatizing experience. Listen very closely. We all understand that one late Christmas Eve night you went downstairs when you were like nine years old and you saw your mother going down on some guy who looked like jolly old Saint Nick, and now every Christmas season you keep hearing the song I Saw Mommy Vigorously Blowing Santa Claus, but that doesn't make it okay for you to be a dick to all the other kids. Don't get me wrong, alright? I'm sorry for anyone that's ever gone through a traumatizing experience, but that doesn't make it okay if you take out your pain on other people. I would never condone trying to use violence to solve your problems, because violence never solves anything. Except when Germany was being kind of an asshole a while back, because then violence solved everything then. I mean... If you want me to be realistic, there's only two ways you can really deal with a bully. Either one, the next time he pushes you or tries to insult you or hit you or any of that stuff, you just take a deep breath, relax, and stab him in the fucking face. Or two, you can try and be friends with him. You know, just try and connect with him, see why he's doing what he's doing, what he doesn't like about you, and maybe over time you actually learn to be friends with this guy. And then when he's not looking, you stab him in the fucking face! Wait, so what's the point of all this? People like to think it's your upbringing or what you've experienced that really makes you who you are, but that's not the case. Humans have the capacity for both good and evil, and what you've experienced really can only affect your choices if you let it. Don't let people tell you who you should be or what you should like or any of that stuff. Because honestly, you're the only person in control of who you become. From what we know, you only experience life once. So do me a favor and don't waste it by letting people control you. Just try and be truly happy with who you are as a person. That's all for now. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Fucking fire truck, why do you have to go save the day? Shut up! Shut up, I need to focus. You know, you stop distracting me, okay? Sh shut the fuck up. Shut your fucking mouth right now. Just I don't know why I said that. So I just saw the new Alice in Wonderland trailer, and I'm not gonna lie, Johnny Depp is a total badass, he's a great actor, all that cool stuff. But I'm not gonna pretend like he doesn't scare the fuck out of me. He's the kind of guy that you're friends with, but you know he could possibly stab you at any time for no apparent reason. And you can blame him. If you go to the police, Johnny Depp stabbed me. And then you'd be like, oh, Johnny, him and his shenanigans.